Hello, Andy Logan here, creator of the Shivers game. This video is going to be all about taking care of your pop-ups. With the core game or deluxe game, you've got about six to eight different pop-ups in your Shivers game. And we've been finding out from a handful of you that there may be some issues with some of the pop-ups. And we've sent thousands of games around the world and uh, we're starting to hear back about just a few things we'd like to address in this video. Okay, so first of all, when you get your pop-up rooms, we'll start here with the peculiar parlor. And we'll just open them gently. Make sure none of the pop-ups are stuck and not moving. So, for example, we're going to open this guy slowly, and all the pop-ups are popping up. The furniture, the chairs, the piano. Everything's popping up nicely. But what you can do, and I'd recommend this for all your rooms, is once they've reached their kind of 90 degree point with the back wall, uh, just go ahead and take them and pop them up to their full vertical position. This will help break any glue that's holding them back and also make them more presentable for gameplay. So just kind of open all the rooms up and just pop everything into its fully popped up vertical state that's out in the room. I would go ahead and do that for all your rooms. So that was the parlor here. We had the kitchen. This table's working pretty well. You can just go pop it up nicely as well. That'll help again break any glue points that are holding it back. There's also uh, a potential for some of the glue to get stuck in some of the story cards. So each room has its own story card, as, as you know from the game, where you can slide in different episodes. And these should slide in freely into the back wall pocket, like this. But on occasion, there's some glue that might get a little stuck in there and help kind of prevent you from sliding in that story card all the way. Like on this parlor here, we're trying to slide in the story card, and it work goes halfway down, and then it kind of gets stuck over here. I can feel there's a little stickiness right in that location. So I'm just going to get a very dull butter knife, and I'm going to look down inside of that pocket. The pocket just opens like this. And I see there's a little bit of glue on the far side. I'm going to reach down with my knife and just kind of pop it all the way down very gently along that back rail. Okay, let's see if that did the trick. All right, the story card is sliding all the way down now, nicely. So to see that again, there we go. It's working well. Here's another room I noticed was having a little difficulty there. This is a study and its story card it's kind of jammed up up here. So if you look, you can see there's a little bit of glue right there, right here, holding that pocket a little too tightly there. So we can do a couple things, just kind of squeeze the pocket a little, make it, make it bow open like this. Or you can get that butter knife in there and just free up some of that glue that's holding it uh, too tightly down that that pocket. So let's try that story card. Okay, I'm feeling a little extra glue back in that back wall there. So I'm just going to go ahead and run my knife down the back inside of the pocket and free up any glue that's binding in that location. All right, let's try that. That one is still a little sticky, so I'm going to look down in there. And I see, yep, there's just a little more glue I didn't get. I'm going to wiggle my knife down in there. Okay, I felt a little bit of a give there. Now the story card should slide in without trouble. There we go. So it's just a matter of breaking some of those initial glue points internally that uh, might have gotten snagged. There we go. Now it's working. It's magic. Hopefully you won't have as much trouble with yours as I did on this one. Okay, next is going to be uh, a few repairs we've been hearing about. 
So we've gotten maybe six or seven uh, notifications from backers around the world that their laboratory, its uh, stairs are having some issues on the back wall. And you can see right here, the little tiny stairs, this little glue piece here has come, it's supposed to be up like this, the stairs should be up, and the, the glue point is kind of broken there. Maybe the factory didn't put in quite enough glue in those locations. Um, so we're going to look at gluing that point very easily. And this is a repair you can do yourself. So what we're going to do is just make sure the stairs are kind of looking like this with both of these purple little triangular shapes sitting like in that orientation. And we're going to put a little glue there where that white dot is. And when we close it up, they're going to match up. And it's going to read here. And it's going to be just as new. So some materials. I've got a little white glue. And I've got a toothpick. You could also use a pencil. And I'm just going to get a little bit of glue on the tip of my toothpick. There you go. Just a small little dot of glue would be enough. You can also use double stick tape if you just cut a little piece that matches the size of the those little purple areas you're trying to adhere together. Uh, this clear double stick tape works really well too. Okay, so I've got my laboratory open and I can see down here where the stairs are. Uh, those two little purplish areas are kind of lined up. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of glue onto the stairs purple piece with my toothpick. Okay, a little bit of glue there. And now I'm just going to close back the pop-up and the two areas will line up. Apply some pressure. Just squeezing it a little bit. And I'd hold it for about, you know, about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, just hold it firmly, don't move it around too much, and that glue will reset, and your repair should be all done. While that's setting like this and I'm squeezing it, I'm just going to show you another uh, way to help your pop-ups. So I'm going to set this to the side for a minute. And... One thing you've noticed, like in this laboratory here, that the little table is not moving. When I pop it up, it's kind of stuck to the, to the floor. There's probably some glue there that is keeping it from deploying. So rather than force it open by keeping bending the back wall, I'm just going to grab it and pop it open. There we go. I could felt a little glue yielding, and now it's good to go. There you go. So now the stairs, the pop-ups, everything works. So just check out when you're opening your pop-ups that nothing's kind of glued to the floor and it might need a little assistance in its initial pop-up. But once you've kind of overcome that initial opening, it should work just fine. And you can see here the stairs on this one are behaving like they should. So that's kind of what we're going to look for. All right, let's come back to our uh, stairs piece over here. It's been roughly a minute. And we'll see if that little repair has taken hold. I'm just giving it a final little squeeze. Okay. So, here's the stairs, and voila, look at that. The stairs are now behaving as they should. You can see our glue point worked right over here against the back wall. And that'll set for the rest of the day, you know, fully hardened, but for now at least I can see it's it's doing its job and uh, the stairs should be working fine. And if you have any issues with your pop-up rooms, feel free to let us know. Uh, you can reach out to us at info at popfictiongames.com and we can, on a case-by-case -case basis, resolve any repairs like that. Um, there's, you know, you've also heard about I think one person mentioned there the coils on the back of their uh, laboratory 
tank uh, kind of came unglued. So we can talk through how to uh, repair that very easily. And in the event that you've got uh, a failure in your pop-up room that's not repairable, uh, and that's totally understandable, just email us again at info at popfictiongames.com and we can start the process of getting you a replacement room. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Hopefully your games arrived with our pop-ups in pristine condition, but for those few of you who had some issues with your pop-ups, we totally understand and want to make sure you've got them in tip-top shape for your next Shivers adventure. Thanks again.